Kane is attacked by an alien creature. It attaches itself to Kane's face, then inserts a mouthpiece into Kane's mouth before injecting the embryo into the body. Kane and it form a bizarre symbiotic system where it delivers oxygen to Kane. When Ash tries to remove its tentacles, it tightens its grip around Kane's neck. There's no way to remove it unless you cut open Kane's face. Ash tries to cut through its joints, but the acid spewing from the incision is extremely corrosive. The acid penetrates four layers of iron plates, and given how dangerous is, Ash stops his research for the time being. But it's not long before the bug falls off on its own, and it looks like it's dying. Ash decided to bring it back to Earth to study it. Miraculously, Kane woke up, and he developed an insatiable appetite. Just as he was eating, he suddenly felt sick. Kane writhed in agony, and a cloud of blood erupted from his stomach. Something seems to be coming out of him. A snake-like worm crawled